a giveaway, brand new shaving products, brand new razor, and a bunch of fun other mentions that we'll talk about. Come back and see us after Jasper T. Scorch brings us in. everybody welcome back to barber dave's barbershop at home for a sunday uh buckle up uh get your favorite beverage this is going to be a little bit of a long one we've got new razors we've got the contest giveaway uh winner uh which will uh go at the end and then some other neat stuff as well but before we get started don't forget www.theshavingcadre.com remember that's not a link just plug that into your browser and come and visit us over at the shaving cadre and then if you wouldn't mind uh please go ahead and uh, click on the barber poll with the cowboy hat that is our subscribe button and then do all the stuff down here liking ringing the bell and everything it does help the channel and uh it does help the tsc so we certainly appreciate it and before we get started today's shave is going to be brought to you by nurse dave shaving world blue poker chips and micro shaving device so get some Anyway, okay, so we got new products now. A couple of shout outs. First and foremost, uh, just got done watching uh, NASA. Congratulations, NASA. Congratulate, Ar uh, congratulations, Artemis. Uh, I got to be quite honest with you. I watched the Apollo missions when I was a kid and to see those three shoots and that capsule landing in the water did bring back some uh, memories and a little bit of a tear to the eye. So congratulations, NASA. Now let's get our asses to Mars and further along. We should have done this 55, 60 years ago. Let's get going. Also, uh, shout out to Antonio at Brands to Market. Got a lot of stuff in the works with uh, Brands to Market, uh, which we will be um, uh, announcing in the next probably couple weeks, couple months, but very excited. And to start everything off, our razor for today uh, is the second in the series of the Italian Masters uh, of Saponificio Verosino, and it is the Galileo Galilei. Now, the original razors were made by uh, Corat. Uh, then the pandemic happened, and uh, so uh, it, the whole project was put on hold. And actually, this is the third razor. The first one was just a branded razor uh, by Corat, which was an 8.8s. And then the second razor was a uh, were the Italian makers. And this got put on hold, and this wasn't going to happen. But uh, uh, in discussions with uh, Thier Sizzard, uh, this razor was to come on. This is a 6 eighths. Now, the fun thing about this razor, it just, just came. So this has got the factory edge on it, and I ran it across the convex balsa strop uh, 30 times. So we don't know how this is going to shave. Uh, it was doing real good on my arm hairs and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. As far as the soap's concerned, once again, back to brands to market, we have a product we have not used, uh, on video. Uh, although I've used the red product, I didn't even know this one existed until, uh, Cella Milano 1899, who is now represented, uh, by brands to market. I came to the U.S. and it is Chella, but it is in the blue container and this is their organics and it has got a completely different uh, fragrance than the uh, traditional Chella, which is kind of a cherry almond. Um, very heavy tub, dense, soft soap, uh, typically an Italian soap. And so we're going to see how this goes today. Uh, it smells wonderful. Uh, we're going to be uh, using a brand new brush, and that is the Cella brush. These all came as a gift pack and uh, really neat. Now, this is actually, I thought it was a, uh, a uh, bore brush, but it's actually a synthetic. And uh, we'll go with that. And then, of course, we will be using the Cella organic uh, aftershave. So we'll see how that all goes. Hope everybody is doing well. I did not load the soap in advance, so... Pardon me, but uh, it was a good contest. So we have the uh, the first soap that will be going into the quarterfinals, or the first soap, the first uh, razor that'll be going into the quarterfinals, and uh, we'll see what happens. Now this is a smaller container, but if you load directly off, it is. I mean, you can scoop this out. It is soft enough to scoop out, but uh, I load it right off the container, and um, it loads really well and easy, and it doesn't get mushy. Or anything like that so we'll see how how this goes like i said this is a <laughs> this is not a tested shave at all this is brand new all the way around so 
So we'll see how that goes. Not so worried so much about the soap and the uh, aftershave. I'm worried about the razor. Because I did not hone it. I don't know if uh, Cella out of Milano um, manufactures their own brushes, but this has a feel of an Omega synthetic uh, because it is a Cella branded brush, but it looks a lot like an Omega handle. Soap feels really good on the face, typical of Cella. Very light, uh, citrusy, but I'm trying to think of what other fragrance I get out of it, but uh, very nice. In my experience with Cella, and I'm sure I don't have a ton of experience with it, but I've used the red, and I know that some people whatever for whatever reason the almond uh, affects them um i'm lucky it doesn't me but this is just wonderful typical of an italian soft soap and i think the brush will mellow a little bit it's a little bit stiff right now but uh, i think it'll be good it feels good on the skin no irritation and a very like i said a very light citrusy uh, fragrance, uh, maybe a little bit of fern in there. Um, it'll probably become more apparent when we use the, uh, when we use the aftershave. Again, this is the Galileo Galilee. This is a six eights made by Thir Scissor and let's see what happens. So far, the factory edge is actually feeling pretty good, surprisingly. The one thing is, is with this point, uh, you do have to be careful on the toe. And as is typical of their scissors, uh, this is definitely a singing blade. Full hollow. Beautiful spine work as well. I'm not sure what the wood is on the thing, but it it it, it looks to me to be um, could even be bacote. It's really nice wood though. Since this razor has got the factory edge on it, and I have not had any experience other than the convex strop, more than likely, I will send this razor to a good buddy of mine, Bill M, and have him completely super curve hone or convex hone, con whatever, um, this razor to see. So far, so good. Pretty good first pass. I mean, I definitely see where the edge could use some refinement, but for a factory edge, really nice, actually. For the first pass, it was actually pretty nice. The, the soap, again, very fresh. 
smelling it. And as I said, this is their organic wine. Probably could have added a little bit more water, but this brush, you know, was also the first use of this brush as well. So we'll see how that goes. So thanks to everybody uh, for your subscriptions. We're approaching 850, which is great. We're getting there slowly but surely. And I, I want to really sincerely thank everybody at the TSC uh, and thank everybody on YouTube for subscribing. Tell your friends. Uh, and then we had a good contest. We only had like six or seven entries, but that's okay. Um, and we had one person win and uh, we'll announce him in just a bit. Yeah, being a factory edge, this is not quite as smooth as a uh, Cotacule edge, in my opinion. But in by no means is it harsh. It's sharp. And I've noticed with the other TIs that I have, the factory edges aren't horrible. Uh, they just need refinement. But I'm excited to have this thing completely um, super curve honed. By Bill. Just to compare it to my edges. And I think, you know, I'll hold that thought. I think those of us that uh, hone razors uh, need to be open uh, to other forms of well, honing, whether that be convex, whether that be, doesn't matter, um, you know, because most of us have flat honed most of our, our honing career lives. And uh, we use different medium, whether that be Shapton's, whether it be lapping film, whether it be Japanese naturals, whether it be Norton stones or whether we use Cotacules and Arkansas stones. So I think we need to be open to test different edges and find the edge that works best for you, not necessarily what works best for everybody else. And that's why I don't understand the big controversy and uh, uh, between the Reddit threads and uh, other forums on how everybody is always bitching and moaning about honing and razors and all that. It's like, just embrace what works for you and try what works for other people. Just because it, it's supposed to be canon that, oh, you only flat hone, yet convex and concave honing has been around a lot, you know, a lot longer. So, and same with Arkansas and, and Japanese naturals and God, I don't care if you go out into the middle of your yard and pick up a rock and start rubbing your, your razor against it. If it works for you, great, and be willing to try it. So in my case, I'm excited to have Bill hone these razors, um, especially this one, and see what I think. Because I've been using the convex uh, uh, strop to take my edges, and I've already seen a little bit of a difference in the smoothness and the, and the keenness of the razor. So I can't help but think that if a razor is super curved honed from the very beginning, I'm really going to like it. We'll see. Again, in terms of today's shave, uh, for a factory edge, the same bed. I'm sure running it across the convex strop uh, definitely helped.
but as to the harshness, we'll find out when we uh, <laughs> when we put on the alum. We're enjoying our last day here of good weather. It's supposed to be in the 70s today, but then tomorrow, I believe the high temperature is supposed to be in the low 50s. And we're supposed to have rain and snow level is dropping. So even in our area, and we're sitting at about 33, 3,400 feet, we will probably get some flurries at least because they're claiming above 5,000 feet that there's going to be an accumulation of four to six inches. So we may get even some accumulation, but we will see. So I wish I could say more on the announcements for both the channel, uh, because this is going to benefit the TSC, it's going to benefit myself, and then it's also going to benefit uh, my barber shop. So. Yeah, the edge is not quite as smooth. But again, for a factory edge, and I did not run this across a leather stuff, just directly off the, the balsa. So I'll probably do that just to see if that'll smooth out, smooth out the edge a little bit. Definitely a great shave, a little bit more cleanup than normal, but that, is to be expected and really for the first use of a razor so because sometimes the first use of a razor can be interesting at best Yeah, this razor is interesting because unlike a barber's notch or a French point or a Spanish point, this has a very interesting, I guess you could argue that this is a barber's notch, but it's on a right angle. It's not curved. And uh, the toe, although it doesn't appear to come out any further than the top of the toe at the spine area, it feels that way. And this, this edge at the very point has not been muted. So it reminds me of some of the other razors I have. So let's see what the album says. About as expected for a factory edged razor and not knowing the exact pressure. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit of zapping, but not nothing major. I mean, no more than half the other times that I shave. Oh, so it's not bad. But definitely DSBBS. We'll see if there's any irritation later on. Um, but it doesn't appear like there will be. And then today for our quins, we'll be using quins. Uh, pink grapefruit and orange rind just to follow kind of that citrusy organic flavor of the shave. If you haven't tried the quins yet, you really need to. Um, 
the former Witch Hazel is the better known one, Thayer's, but um, I find that Quinn's is much more fragrant, um, goes on the skin better. Uh, I put it on damp uh, so it doesn't get sticky because there is quite a bit of aloe vera in it. And then just uh, pat dry. And it's just wonderful. Yeah, it makes the face feel really good. Um, as far as the aftershave, you know, very, very traditional Italian type bottle, very uh, Parasso esque, uh, but it's beautiful. It's a teal blue. I don't know if that comes across and thing, but uh, this is the uh, aftershave. And once again, this is the organic. And you really, lemons, limes, there's some, maybe some florals in there. Typical old school Italian. Oh, just wonderful. It it does give a a vibe of uh, Boelis Panama, a little bit of that. But the one thing I noticed, even though this is an alcohol based aftershave, it feels wonderful on the skin, very akin to Pitrolon or Spike, if you've used those. But just oh, just absolutely wonderful. So glad I purchased this. Uh, this is definitely one that I will be. Um, carrying in the shop uh, for absolute sure um uh it's wonderful i'm hopefully going to be carrying both lines but i don't want to get ahead of myself uh for the talc we'll be using typical clubman um i would use my italian parasso but i'm out gotta get some more foggy day now i could call it quits uh, at this, but I'm going to put on a little bit more aftershave and, uh, because it just smells wonderful. And then I did call an audible and, uh, just based on the, the, the smell and everything else, this is going to go really well with another Italian favorite, uh, Sapato Vigio Verasino 70th anniversary, uh, EDP. And so that will be nice. Once I figure out where the where it's at, because I can't see. There we go. So we're going to get cleaned up, uh, and we'll come back and go over uh, the winner and how I pick the winners of uh, the contest. So um, we'll get cleaned up. We'll stick around. Uh, hope you enjoyed that shave. And if you have not tried, like I said, if you have not tried the uh, cella uh, in the blue, uh, the organic, please do. So we'll be back in just a few seconds. Okay, everybody, we're back. We cleaned everything up and everything else. So let's go over the contest. So for those of you that are new to watching or that had not seen the videos, basically I did what's called the triple seven. Seven shaves, seven days, and seven different straight razors. Now I'm going through my entire straight razor library and I'm gonna pick one winner from each set of the triple sevens. Now this may take a while because I have to do it on my days off, uh, like vacation. So the next, uh, so this is the quarterfinals. And so one razor will move on uh, and then we'll do another set of seven razors. And then that second razor will move on, then a third set, then a fourth set, and then we'll have the finals or the semifinals and we'll go from there. So, and we're gonna to try to do a contest each and every time. And then of course, if that coincides for when we get to a thousand subscribers, it's gonna be even a bigger prize. So uh, we had seven entries and um, the razors that um, we had was a Filler Monica 13, a CV Helgestrand MK32, uh, CV Helgestrand 4 8 a CV Helgestrand 4, uh, a Brian Brown uh, 5 8 a Wasty 5 8 Barber Notch, and then a uh, JP Alchemisi um, 6 8 And I shaved with all seven of those razors. And the contest rules were that you had to put the razors in the order. And I had them numbered 1 through 7. And believe it or not, and I was surprised because it was going to be if you got them all correct, you win. And then if not that, the closest uh, would win. And if there was any ties, we'd do a runoff. So like I said, we had seven. Uh, well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. We had seven entries, which is kind of ironic. Seven razors, seven entries. And um, 
you were supposed to number which way there. So one through seven or two, five, six, seven, whatever the case may be. And the winner was one of our YouTube uh, listeners, uh, Felix Saez de Abara. So congratulations. And what was cool about this is he only missed one. And when I say one, he only transposed it. So his guesses were two, four, seven, six, one, five, three. Now that basically uh, corresponds to uh, the Philly, which was the winner. The Philharmonica 14 is moving on. Uh, this was the best shave overall, best skin feel, best long term, best uh, edge, how it felt in my in my hand and everything else. So the uh, two was the Philly per the numbering system. The four was the MK32, the Queen. Uh, the seven uh, was the CV Helgestrand four eights, not the number four, but the four eights. Uh, the sixth was the JPL Camisi, or the fourth razor was number six. The fifth razor. Uh, was the CV Helgestrand number four, which was the first razor I shaved with. Uh, the number five uh, was the Wasty, and the last one was the Brian Brown, uh, as far as overall feel and everything else. So, uh, Felix, congratulations. Please contact me on the, the Shaving Cadre. So if you're not a member of the Shaving Cadre, make sure you join the Shaving Cadre at www.shavingcadre.com and notify me by private message, and we'll figure out how we can ship the gifts out to you. I'm not sure what the gifts are going to be yet, but it'll be a nice little prize package. So congratulations to at Felix Saez de Abara, uh, for winning the 777SR Round 1 contest. We're going to be doing our second version of that contest over the Christmas holiday starting on the 23rd of December. So thanks, everybody, for sticking around. I know it was a long video, but uh, all the other things... Uh, big thanks to uh, Antonio Pavan at uh, Brands to Market, to Chella, to Nurse Dave Shaving World. And please make sure that down in the uh, details section, you check out all their channels as well. I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. We'll see you again very soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.